Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Zodiac prediction from Liam Montier. Uh, what is this? It is basically, uh, Liam has taken the idea of the Zodiac, right? The birthday that your spectator has, and then combined it with like the clock wheel effect, applying a different astrological sign to each card, and then using your spectator's uh, birthday to arrive at their lucky card, and it's a three-stage climax where their lucky card is also your prediction. You want to see the trailer? This is it. Hello, Trinell. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. I've got a little card trick for you. Now, I don't know, have you seen many card tricks before? A couple. A couple okay. of card tricks, that makes sense. Well, before uh, people did card tricks with cards, they were actually used for sort of fortune telling before, even before tarot cards were used for fortune telling. And this is because playing cards have a lot of similarities with the kind of, um, with the calendar, I guess you'd say, uh, in that there's four suits and there's four seasons, and there's 52 cards in a deck and 52 weeks in a year. And if you add up all the numbers on the uh, deck of cards, it adds up to 365, which is the days in a year. So it's all kind of tied together with the whole calendar and your star sign and that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to try and do, a little trick with that. So uh, we'll start off by uh, just, well, I'll leave them here. And I've also got a little uh, handy card here with your star signs on there. So what I'd like you to do is to have a look for your star sign on the list. You know your star sign, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, I want you to take that number of cards off the top of the deck. So I'm Gemini, so I would take five cards. And you can hide them in the card box if you like. Okay. Uh, but I'll turn away while you do that. And um, I'll try not to listen very hard as well, just so I can't hear how many cards you take. Uh, and then just tuck them into the card box or into a pocket, anything you like. And give me a shout when you're ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. All right, perfect. There we go. So I'm going to give these a little cut. Now, obviously, we don't need an entire pack for this. But what we're going to basically do is now use your number uh, to find your lucky card. Have you ever had a lucky card before? No. No? So this is a new yes. experience. All right, awesome. So uh, we're going to need 12 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And what will happen is we're going to deal them out into a little chart. So this would be number one, this would be number two, this would be number three. We're going to do it like a uh, clock, basically. Uh, four, that would be five, that would be six, and seven here, that would be eight. This would be nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So what we're going to do is count round to find out what your lucky card is. Now, obviously, we've not met before, but... I would have, if I, and I'm not very good at all this kind of thing normally, but I would have said you struck me as a sort of Virgo. I would have said you were a Virgo, is that right? Yes. It is, okay. So if you're a Virgo, uh, your lucky number is eight. So we would count around uh, as if this was a clock to the eighth card. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would take us here, right? Okay. So your lucky card from now for all time is, in this case, the seven of clubs. I had a feeling it would be the Seven of Clubs, Trinell. I had a feeling I'd meet a Virgo today, and I had a feeling that the lucky card would be the Seven of Clubs, because this isn't just a little card, it's actually an envelope. Mm -hmm. And inside the envelope is a single card from a different deck. Could you take it out for me? And show everybody at home. It is your lucky card, the Seven <laughs> of Clubs. Well, that was uh, fate, but you say, you know, you've heard the saying that some things are written in the stars, and that means that they're fated and they're always going to come true. Mm -hmm. That was true of your lucky card because it was the only result you could have had. It was all written in the stars from before we began. <laughs> All right, so that was the Zodiac prediction from Liam Montier. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get the written instructions, and within those written instructions, there is also a download code, so you can also download a 12-minute instructional video. There's the little black envelope uh, with the Zodiac signs on it that you saw in the commercial, and then there's the necessary gaff cards that you will need. 
How are the angles on this? They are really clean. Uh, there's really no angle issues to worry about. It's a straightforward card trick. I don't think you would run the risk of exposing anything if performed correctly. Can it be inspected? No. Uh, these cards, uh, there are some gaff cards to this. And I only say that because um, there's just one element that they might want to examine and then you would have to do some dodgy. Uh, there's a beginning part where you have the spectator count off a stack of cards and they put those in the card box. Um, if they ask to go back and look at those cards, you wouldn't be able to allow them to do that because they are also gas. And so there's a little bit of audience management there, but, but for the most part, they should end happy and uh, shouldn't even ask. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Big Blind Media makes really good videos. Uh, it's only 12 minutes long, and so the, the majority of the video, all of it, is really um, Liam uh, at the Big Blind Media library set prop with all the books behind him and the Boba Fett mask. And uh, he has one spectator, uh, does the trick for her, and then runs you through the setup, runs you through the presentation. It's all well mic'd and uh, it looks clean. Is it well made? It's all given to you on traditional Riderback 808 stock. How much practice does it require? Uh, very little. This is at its core a deck stack. And so if you can do a false shuffle or a false cut and retain your stack, you're good. And then pretty much the stack and the patter, the presentation, moves the trick along. Uh, if you watch the trick in its entirety from beginning to end, there's really no other secretness to it. So it's pretty much just following the deck stack and uh, yeah, it's easy. How much setup and reset is there? It is a deck stack, like I said at the beginning. So this is a great trick um, to use as an opener or maybe as a closer. Um, the downside is, of course, um, with all the gas in it, you aren't able to do any other effects with this deck. Positives, what are the positives to Zodiac prediction? Um, Liam has once again created a very fun powerhouse card trick that is not only easy to do, but it has the potential to hit hard. Negatives, you know like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, just like I said, uh, it's a one hit wonder. And when you have a, a deck stack like that with as many gaff cards in it as you do, you're just not able to use your deck of cards for anything else. So this would be a good card trick to do uh, maybe in a routine that involves other things like coins or writing down or mentalism or predictions. So um, maybe not a good trick to do in connection with other card tricks. Is it worth your money? It's 25 bucks, it's $25. Uh, and I think personally, Big Blind Media always goes out of their way to give you more bang for your buck. And so just to get the instructions, all the gaff cards, the envelope, everything pre-printed, uh, the video, Liam's teaching, definitely worth your money. If this trick appeals to you, I would pick it up. Who would like this? People that like card tricks, people that like the clock force or zodiacs or the mentalism or if that you know fits in your wheelhouse of you know predicting somebody's star sign. Uh, I think if that's your thing, this is a great card trick to add to your routine. All right, so that is my review of the Zodiac prediction from Liam Montier and Big Blind Media. As always, I want to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this trick for me so that I can do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks. Bye.